would like to welcome our dearest viewers via Nursat and Tel Elmir TV. And we begin with the following headlines. Pope Francis, the Middle East does not need war, but rather peace. His Majesty King Abdullah II emphasizes the necessity of stopping the war in Gaza. Cardinal Pier Battista Pizzabella expresses his deep pain about what is happening in the afflicted region. Popular marches in all the provinces of the kingdom in solidarity with our brothers in Gaza. Welcome back. His Holiness Pope Francis delivered a message following the recitation of the Angelus Prayer, expressing his pain at what is happening in Israel and Palestine, as well as his concern for the blockade affecting the people of Gaza. He emphasized that the Middle East needs peace. He mentioned that he is closely following the events in Gaza, particularly the high number of casualties and injuries. Pope Francis stated that he is praying for the families who have been turned to misery and mourning. He called for the opening of humanitarian corridors to assist those besieged in Gaza Strip, and he said, I earnestly hope that children, the sick, the elderly, and all civilians do not become victims of the conflict. He appealed to the warning parties not to shed more innocent blood in the Holy Land. His Majesty King Abdullah II emphasized the need for utmost international efforts to stop the war in Gaza. He highlighted the importance of facilitating the delivery of medical and humanitarian assistance to the Gaza Strip and protecting innocent civilians. He also warned against obstructing the work of international organizations in performing their humanitarian duties. King Abdullah II had directed the urgent dispatch of humanitarian and medical aid to the Palestinian brothers in the Gaza Strip through the Rafah borders. Furthermore, His Majesty King Abdullah II directed the identification of the required needs for our Palestinian brothers in the West Bank and their speedy provision. In compliance with His Majesty's guidance, the Hashmar Jordan Charity Organization dispatched medical and humanitarian aid to support our brothers in Gaza. The Ministry of Health in Gaza Strip expressed its gratitude to His Majesty King Abdullah II for his noble directives to keep the Jordanian Field Hospital in Gaza operational, enabling it to continue its service and support the healthcare system in treating the wounded and patients despite the difficulties and challenges. The United Nations Relief and Work Agency, UNORWA, expressed its deep appreciation to Jordan for being the first to provide assistance to the agency, allowing it to address the catastrophic crisis in the region. In accordance with royal directives, the Jordanian government allocated a sum of 3 million dinars to be immediately transferred to UNORWA. In the same context, His Majesty King Abdullah II expressed his strong condemnation and deep indignation in the strongest terms for the heinous massacre committed by Israel against innocent civilians, the wounded, and patients who were receiving treatment at the Baptist Hospital in Gaza. His Majesty considered this crime to be an inhumane war that cannot be ignored and is in direct conflict with human and ethical values, constituting a blatant violation of international humanitarian law. King Abdullah warned that this war, which has entered a dangerous phase, will lead the region into an unprecedented catastrophe. He called on the international community to put an end to the ongoing bloodshed, which continues to be a stain on humanity. His Majesty expressed his condolences to the families of the martyrs, showing deep sympathy for their souls. He reaffirmed that Jordan will remain at the forefront of defenders of the rights of the Palestinian brothers and their just cause. The Anglican Episcopal Church in Jerusalem issued a statement condemning the Israeli occupation's airstrike on Al Ahli Hospital Baptist Hospital in Gaza. The attack resulted in the death and injury of hundreds of civilians, constituting a crime against humanity. The church stated that this hospital affiliated with the Anglican Episcopal Church was subjected to a brutal attack coinciding with a global day of fasting and prayer for peace and reconciliation, as well as to end the horrifying conflict declared by the patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem. The Church emphasized in its statement that hospitals are considered safe havens according to the principles of international humanitarian law. However, this assault exceeded those sacred boundaries. The Church stated in its statement that the destruction we witnessed along with the desecration of the Church strikes at the core of human ethics, affirming that it deserves international condemnation and punishment. The Church issued an urgent appeal to the international community to fulfill its obligations in protecting civilians and ensuring the prevention of such inhumane acts from happening again. In conclusion, the Church expressed its sadness for the loss of a significant number of lives in its affiliated facilities and declared a day of mourning in all its churches and institutions. On the same note, the Deputy Latin Patriarch in Jerusalem, Bishop William Shomali, stated that the bombing of the Baptist Hospital is an unprecedented and cruel act, adding to the brutality with which Gaza is being bombarded. He mentioned that the hospital had children in it before the bombing and was performing surgical procedures for civilians. He pointed out that the hospital's destruction means there is no safe place left in Gaza Strip. 
Amidst the escalating tensions in the region, an emergency committee of patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem gathered for prayer and consultation regarding the serious humanitarian crisis afflicting the Gaza Strip. The citizens in the area are enduring a new cycle of violence leading to increased destruction and casualties, resulting in worsening humanitarian crisis. The patriarchs pointed out in their statement that the residents of Gaza are suffering from severe shortage of basic services. They are also being compelled to evacuate their homes without realistic means for safe evacuation. In light of these developments, the attendees reiterated their calls to Israel and the international community to allow the entry of humanitarian supplies into Gaza, with the aim of assisting thousands of innocent civilians in obtaining medical treatment and essential provisions. They also emphasized the necessity of ceasefire and adherence to the principles of justice to save the lives of the innocent. In addition, a coordination meeting was held at the Latin Patriarchate, attended by His Beatitude Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem. The purpose of this meeting was to coordinate efforts among Christian organizations for the relief of the people of Gaza and explore the possibilities of providing assistance to the families affected by the unjust aggression on the region. His Beatitude Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, expressed his profound sorrow over the situation in the region. He called on the international community to intervene and work towards a solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict through mediation efforts. In an interview with the Vatican News, he mentioned that upon his arrival in the Holy Land, he inquired about the condition of Christians in Gaza. Some families have lost their homes and now are located in the parish and the schools affiliated with the Patriarchate. His beatitude acknowledged the difficulty of predicting what might happen next in the future, but expressed hope that the international community would turn its attention to the Middle East and make a dedicated effort to ease the situation. He urged both the Palestinian and Israeli parties to exercise restraints through mediation efforts to achieve a ceasefire. On another content, Archbishop Alexius, the Orthodox Christian Archbishop of Gaza, welcomed both Christian and Muslim refugees at the Orthodox Church shelter in the city. He did everything in his power to safeguard the lives of the displaced and open the church's doors to them and their families. Pope Francis had also made contact with the Catholic Church in Gaza to inquire about the conditions of Christians in the area due to the ongoing war. Several communications were made with the Church of the Holy Family to monitor the welfare of the parish. It is worth noting that the Orthodox Church in Gaza City is one of the largest and oldest of the three remaining churches in the Gaza Strip, with its construction dating back to the year 402 AD. During the participation in solidarity protests with their brothers in Gaza, Jordanians expressed their support for the people of Gaza and their resilience in the face of ongoing Israeli aggression. Thousands of citizens participated in marches that traversed the capital, Amman, and other Jordanian cities. The participants in the marches affirmed Jordan's solidarity with the Palestinian people across its various components, stating that Jordan stands with them in the face of killings and destruction at the hands of the occupying forces. They emphasized that Jordan is their supporter and advocate in the face of the killing and destruction inflicted by the occupying forces. Jordan also defends their legitimate rights by advocating for the establishment of their independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. During the protests and marches, speakers praised the efforts of the Jordanian military and the Jordanian state for establishing the field hospital in Gaza and sending food and medical aid to the devastated region. They commended Jordan's unwavering stance on the Palestinian issue, led by His Majesty, King Abdullah II. The Council of Voluntary Organizations in the city of Fahis issued a statement expressing its condemnation of all aggressions actions conducted by the Israeli occupations against the brothers in the Gaza Strip. They condemned the blockade imposed by cutting off water and electricity as well as preventing the entry of food and medical supplies into the Gaza Strip. The Council also denounced the international silence in the face of punishment and genocide inflicted on the people of Gaza. The targeting of civilians, medical and ambulance crews, and the occupation's violation of all international norms and laws. Furthermore, the Council of Voluntary Organizations and Fahis express its solidarity and support for the brothers in Gaza as part of the conflict. On another note, the Council praised the support positions of His Majesty King Abdullah II for the Palestinian people and his constant commitment to establishing an independent Palestinian state with Jerusalem as its capital, as well as preserving the legal and historical status quo in the Holy City. In an exclusive interview with Nursat, His Eminence Father Bernard Bouji, the president of the Clerical Institute in Bethlehem, emphasized the importance of prayer due to its profound effects and transformational powers. He also stressed the significance of prayers, especially in these challenging circumstances that the Holy Land in general and Gaza in particular are experiencing. He encouraged believers to adhere to teachings of the Holy Scriptures, highlighting the faith in God and entrusting everything to His will can strengthen our faith and bring comfort. Monica Santa Marina, the President of International Union of Catholic Women's Organizations, called for prayer for peace in the Holy Land. 
She sent a message to the organization's representative in Jordan, Dr. Basim Sam'an, the regional director of Nursat TV in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine. In her message, she expressed the union's solidarity and the prayers of women worldwide for an end to the war in the region and establishment of peace in the Holy Land. She also mentioned the organizational campaign dedicated to this purpose. She said, we have issued a call to all organizations to intensify prayer for peace in Jerusalem and around the world, and we will pray for an end to the war. Rest assured that you are not alone in experiencing the suffering and cries that have become present in our hearts. We are confident in your faith and hope for peace, which is a soothing balm for all the people around you. Mary Santa concluded her message by invoking the words entrusted by Jesus to his disciples calling for the peace that he brings and in which the world will find victory. We have reached the end of our broadcast, dear viewers. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis, the Middle East does not need war but rather peace. His Majesty King Abdullah II emphasizes the necessity of stopping the war in Gaza. Cardinal Pizzabella expressed his deep pain about what is happening in the afflicted region. Popular marches in all provinces of the kingdom in solidarity with our brothers in Gaza. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Wishing you a pleasant time and may you be blessed with all happiness.